Okay, last time we looked at SUS2 chords, you can check it out here. They're really, really nice way to add a little bit more body to the sound, no matter what tone you're playing on, without sort of muddying things up. Um, in that example, I was doing all SUS2 chords, so that can be overboard or it can be, can be great. But you can selectively use them as good variations whenever you, you want to try something, uh, a different, slightly different sound. Okay, so the companion to a sus2 chord or a suspended second chord is a sus4 chord. So same deal as we looked at in the last one. Most chords, in a very simple manner, if we just look at major and minor, are comprised of a first, third, and fifth degree of the major scale. So... To do a sus2, you simply suppress the third, don't play the third or you suspend it, and you play the second instead. So instead of a one, three, five, you play a one, two, five. Suspended fourths are the same thing. Instead of um, bringing in the second, you bring in the fourth. So it's one, four, five. So we're gonna look at a couple of simple examples today. Again, as I said last time, the sus4 tends to wanna to resolve a bit stronger. It's got more tension. Um, but still, it's a great sound to add to your repertoire. So let's have a look. All right, so sus fours, I, I guarantee you you've played some of these before, at least you might just not know that they're called sus fours. Okay, so the most obvious one from in my mind is a, a D. If you think of it, a standard D major chord, add your pinky. Now that high note there, here how it wants to pull down. Okay, wants to resolve, and that's a character of the suspended chords. They want to resolve. Your ear is so used to hearing a third. Uh, fourth is, a, as I said, it's a stronger resolution, stronger uh, to resolve to a major, but you can resolve to a minor third as well. We'll look at that um, in a second. So that's the first one, D sus4. And of course, you know... You do those sorts of things on the guitar, which you, you know your ears are, are used to a lot. All right, let's look at the next one. Look at let's look at A. Think of an A major chord. A, this sort of one. I'm just playing, uh, barring my first finger. Add your third finger on the D. Okay, that sound. The four to the three to the two to back up to the three. Very very common. Okay, you've heard it everywhere. All right, let's look at the next one. So the next one for me is G, and I think people will often do it slightly different. So sticking with a sus4, think of a G, I generally always play a G5 voicing. Okay, but you can do. Okay, it's a bit tricky there because the high E you might not want to ring out. Okay, so that first note on the B string, that's your suspended fourth. That's the fourth there. C, you can of course do it as well. There are a couple of different ways to do it. Sticking in the open voicing, you can bar instead of a C like this. You can bar your first finger and bring the E in there. Oh, you can bring your pinky on here. Okay, again, depending on if you're acoustic, you're on electric, clean sound, distorted sound, you can you can take your pick. So that is C sus4. Okay, E sus4, you can do that as well. Play a regular E major chord. Stick your pinky on. Suspended sound there, again, your ears are starting to get used to it, right? Okay, let's look quickly at the bar form variants. Now this particularly works well on the A string. Okay, as you saw with the A, that bar shape, if you move it up to a bar form, bar form, you can just bring your, your pinky on there. OK, 
okay? So it works really, really well there on the fifth string there. Another thing you can do as well, uh, thinking of the D shape, you can't do the bass note very easily, but you can still You can still move that shape up and play your suspended there. So if a bass player is sitting there and you know, giving you the root note, that's another way you can, you can do that. Okay, so suspended chord, suspended seconds, suspended force, really, really great to add to your arsenal there. Try them out, get used to hearing them um, and mix them, mix a match. Mix the sus twos with the sus fours with the regular major and minor sound. Oh, before I forget, let's try a sus resolving to a minor. Still works, right? Doesn't have a quite as strong a resolution as the major third. Still sounds great though. Good luck. See you next time.